So can you mix synthetic oil with regular mineral oils? Well, it's a lot like asking, can you mix gravy and custard? You can. Some people might actually like the taste, but it's generally not a good idea. So this video, we're just going to look at the sort of things that you need to look out for, because in some circumstances, like an emergency where you've only got a mineral oil to top up your synthetic, we'll just look at what you can do to mitigate the potential problems and really look at why it's not a fantastic idea to mix different types of oil. So there's a few things you just need to bear in mind when it comes to mixing oils that will avoid the obvious problems that crop up. But there are some long term running issues that can happen when you've got the wrong type of oil in your car. So you do need to check compatibility of the mineral oil with the synthetic oil. Most oils nowadays are manufactured to fairly high standards. You certainly want to make sure it's got the same viscosity ratings. So if you mix a slightly thicker, more sticky oil with a thin oil, your overall average of your oil is going to be less runny. It's going to be more viscous and it's going to be unable to lubricate the car as well as it would otherwise do. So the main difference between a synthetic oil and a mineral oil is generally the lifespan a synthetic oil is manufactured to very, very precise standards. The molecules within the oil are much more uniform than you would get from a mineral oil. So they're designed to have much longer change intervals. So just mixing a regular mineral oil with all other factors being exactly the same, you're going to reduce the lifespan. A mineral oil will never outlast a synthetic oil. So synthetic oils are more resistant to breakdown. They can tolerate extremes in temperature, the abnormal conditions that go on inside an engine and cope with that quite happily. Mineral oils tend to break down much more quickly or relatively more quickly. So it's just something to keep an eye on. So if you've had to top up your car with a mineral oil, make sure the oil change schedule is slightly quicker than the manufacturer would indicate. So if you've got six months left to run, for example, you might want to get that changed at three months and just make sure you've got the correct type of oil in. The other consideration when it comes to mixing oil is the additive pack that goes into the oil, the components that make the oil what it is. So certain characteristics of oil you don't want in a lot of modern engines like sulfur. And there's various other things inside the oil that resist corrosion within the engine or resist foaming. So you need to make sure that those additive packs are compatible with your engine. So when you choose an engine oil for your car, as I've always been saying in the videos, it's not just a matter of looking at the viscosity on the box. You need to look at the additive pack as a whole and just make sure the oil has been correctly formulated for your type of engine. So if it's got a turbocharger, a diesel particulate filter or a catalyst, you're going to have a completely different set of requirements than if you had, say, a large V8 engine that was made 20, 30 years ago. So the simple answer to the question, can you you mix a synthetic oil with a mineral oil, you can, but it's generally only recommended for short intervals and you need to make sure that the additive pack is compatible with the oil you're adding it to and also with your engine and the requirements the manufacturer has defined for your engine. If you don't, it's a good idea to get that changed quickly. It's better to run with the wrong grades of oil than to have too lower an oil level. So there's obviously going to be some extremes that wouldn't work in. But if you've got an oil light flashing up on your car, you need to address that. You need to raise the oil level. Insufficient pressure will cause damage. So even if it's a relatively cheap, lower grade of oil, that may be enough to get you home. But do try and match up the viscosity. Do look at the additive pack and always use a good quality oil in your car for the best results. So thanks for watching. Please boot that like button and if this video has been particularly helpful to you, let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. Have you mixed different types of oil? Do you agree with the, the research that I found when it comes to mixing different types of oil? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so because we would love you to stay tuned. And I've lined this video up for you that should help you to get the best performance out of your engine. Thanks for watching.